wake with an N. And another one. and welcome to another week of Letters and Numbers. You know, there is nothing more satisfying than solving a puzzle or coming up with the right answer, except maybe doing it nine times in half an hour. And that is the challenge for our contestants tonight. But first of all, the mathematician who can untangle an equation in seconds flat, Lily Serna. Hi, Richard. Hello, Lily. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. It's really great to be back for, for another week. We are all looking forward to it. And the man who, well, simply eats a dictionary for breakfast, David Astor. <laughs> Actually, do you have your dictionary with, you know, warm milk, cold milk? How do you like it? Look, I'm more prone to eat my words than I do it every day. <laughs> Welcome anyway, David. So now let's meet the people who will be playing the game with us tonight. And first up, our carryover champion who's with us for his fourth night, David Jones. David is a public servant who has recently become an Australian citizen, as we heard about last week. Well, David, welcome back. Did you enjoy the weekend? Uh, absolutely, Richard. Nice to have a break. Did you have a chance to think about your strategy? Because it was interesting watching you play last week to try to work out what approach you were taking. Um, I think I had a little bit too much time to think about it all and um, perhaps should have... Uh, just relaxed and spent some time with my wife instead. <laughs> well, we look forward to some well-planned competition tonight, so uh, good luck. And challenging David tonight is Ben Strait, an energy and resource lawyer with a passion for musicals. Oh, welcome, Ben. Thanks, Richard. Uh, do you actually perform in musicals? Do you, do you sing, dance, all those yeah, things? Yeah, I, I like to do that sort of thing. Da dancing, yeah, not such a strength of mine, but, um, yeah, it's... Um, Can you name a musical that you've actually performed in for us? Um, Into the Woods, uh, You're in Town, another one Singing in the Rain. Excellent range. Well, a very interesting uh, connection. So, good luck tonight. You. Would you please welcome our contestants tonight, David Jones and Ben Strait. And you know how we normally kick off proceedings? Yes, it's the letters game. As you've probably seen by now, the aim is to make the longest word possible from the letters that are selected. So, David, as carryover champion, it is uh, your privilege to choose first. Please make a selection. Thanks, Richard. Um, hi again, Lily. Hi, David. Welcome back. Thanks very much. Um, start with a consonant, please. Alrighty, starting the week with an N. And another one. D. And a third, please. B. I have a vowel now, please, Lily. I. Another vowel. A. Another vowel. E. A consonant, please. F. A consonant again. R. And I'll finish with a consonant, please, Lily. And lastly, H. Here's the first clock for the week. First word for the week, how did you go? Um, try seven, Richard. Let's hope seven is right. What about you, Ben? Um, seven, possibly. Oh, well, <laughs> hopeful there as well. Uh, David, give us your seven first. It's handier. And yours, Ben? Bed hair. Bed hair. Well, that's a, an entertaining start, not to mention handier. David, <laughs> wrestle with those two. Yes, uh, now I've heard of hair shirt. I don't know about bed hair. But, uh, I think if you've got a, um, a chihuahua, you'd know plenty about that. Um, <laughs> No bed here, I'm afraid, uh, Ben. Uh, handier, of course, is a handy uh, start, and well done for seven. Yes, a good one for David. Seven points. Well, we always keep things on the move on this first night of the week, so straight on to the next game. And, uh, Ben, would you select the letters, please? Hi, Lily. Um, can I have a consonant, please? Certainly. Starting with a C. And another consonant, please. T. A uh, vowel, please. 
A. Uh, another consonant, please. L. Uh, vowel, please. E. And a consonant, please. K. Uh, another consonant, please. B. A vowel, please. I. And a consonant, please. And lastly, an R. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds. that time Ben? Seven. David? Seven as well. It's great. Lots of sevens here. Let's have yours first David. Trickle. And Ben? Uh, trickle. So uh, well a lot of trickling. It's almost a flood over here David. Trickle obviously fine and crab like a uh, which describes my dancing at the best of times <laughs> is also in the dictionary. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thank you David. So seven each for David and Ben. Ben on seven, David on fourteen. Well, I'm sure Lily's been warming up for this one. It's time for our first numbers game, where contestants have 30 seconds to get as close to the target number as they can. And they do it by using six numbers and the four principles of maths, addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. And David, would you uh, make the first choice of numbers, please? Will do, Richard. Um, I'll have one large number, please, and five small, Lily. Really. One large and five small. Thank you, David. And first numbers game of the day, 2, 3, 9, 10 and 3 and the large number is 100 and the target to reach is 116. Thank you Lily, 30 seconds to get there. start to the week on the numbers front there, uh, David, were you on target? Yeah, uh, 116, Richard. I thought so, and you, Ben? Yeah, 116. Okay, well, David, take us through your method, please. Okay, um, 100 plus the 10, Lily, is 110. 100 plus the 10 is 110. And then add on the two threes is 116. Add on the two threes is 116. Very nice. So, uh, Ben, was your approach the same? Exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, could you just verify with each other that you have used the same method? Excellent. Ten points each to Ben and David. We're heading towards our first break for the night. That means our first word mix, and it is media ran. And the clue, a delicious soak. Back after the break. <laughs> 